Happy New Year everyone and welcome to today's video. If you guys are new, my name's Liz and let's jump into our Valentine's projects. So for this DIY, you're going to take a little small sign that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Really any kind of sign that is going to fit in your tier tray will work. This is the one that I had so I just went ahead and cut off that little truck at the top just using a crafter's blade and then a blade that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. I just scored it a couple times on the front and the back and then I was able to just bend it a couple times and it snapped right off. Once I did that, I just got some sandpaper and sanded down that rough edge. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going to paint my entire little sign. I'm not going to worry too much about the front of the sign where the cow is because it is going to be covered up with some scrapbook paper, but I did just want to give it a nice even coat so that if there was any kind of see-through with the scrapbook paper that it would just mostly blend in and look all white. So I just gave this a good couple of coats using my heat gun in between coats. Now once that is all nice and dry, I am going to take this scrapbook paper that I got in a pack years ago. Before, when my oldest was less than one years old, I just got it at some random scrapbook store. So just use any kind of Valentine's scrapbook paper that you have. I'm sure Hobby Lobby has plenty of it. And I'm going to cut this down to size so that I can insert this into my sign. I just used a glue stick and I just pressed it down into my sign. Now one thing that for some reason was lost in my footage is I did distress my sign just a little bit using some silver lining chalk paint from Waverly. I just went around all the edges and the border of the sign just to give it a little bit of a distressed look. I didn't do anything too crazy. I almost completely forgot that I did it so I did just distress it a little bit around the outside. Now I'm going to take these heart stickers that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I took the big red glittery one because I thought it was super pretty and then I'm going to take a smaller heart that is just in the natural wood color and I'm going to hot glue these two hearts together. I'm going to take one of these wooden cubes that you can also get from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue that onto the back of the heart and then I'm going to hot glue that to the sign. Now I'm going to take some twine. I got this twine from burlapfabric.com but you can also get twine from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make a simple shoelace bow out of that twine. I'm going to hot glue it to the corner of my sign and then I'm going to use some of this sticky tape. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's the first time that I saw it at the Dollar Tree, but I just added a little bit of the stickiness to my sign and added my twine tails to it just so that those would stick down and give it a really cute border around my sign. And that is it for this project. If you guys are new here, my name is Liz and I love everything DIY and crafting from Dollar Tree DIYs to trash to treasures. Starting this new year, I'm going to try to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you're checking back on my channel to see if I have any new videos or hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys enjoy DIY and crafting, I'd love it if you would subscribe and join my little crafting family. And then don't forget to give this video a like if you're enjoying it so far. For this next one, I'm going to make a garland. You guys know how much I love garlands if you've been on my channel for a while. So I am just going to string on some beads onto a piece of twine. I get these beads from Amazon and I will have those linked down in the description box as always. You're just going to string on as many beads as however long you want your garland to be. I'm going to take some of this baker's twine that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it around a piece of cardboard until that baker's twine is all gone. This cardboard is about three inches long so that is how long my tassel will be. I'm also going to take some of this lace ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree, wrap that around the top. I'm going to tie a knot towards the top using that baker's twine and then I'm just going to slip my string off of the cardboard and I'm going to start wrapping that baker's twine around the top. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off all the loops at the bottom and then trim down the excess baker's twine and the excess ribbon. Now I'm going to string that tassel on to the end of my garland just double knotting it at the top. I'm going to use some painter's tape to wrap around the end of that excess piece of twine and I'm going to do that because I want that excess piece of twine to go through the top three beads so that that twine is hidden and you don't have 
a piece of twine towards the top that's just kind of dangling around and looks all weird. So that is why I do this. Now I'm gonna take this little heart that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to string that onto my garland, tie a knot. I got this ribbon also from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna tie a simple shoelace bow. I'm gonna dovetail the ends of that bow and then I'm gonna hot glue it down to the top of my heart. Now you could leave it just like this, which I think is super, super cute. Or you could take a chalk marker and you could write the number 14 on it or really whatever you want to write on it. And this is how my super cute Valentine's garland turned out. Now I am going to make a Valentine's gnome, which I'm super excited about. I found these socks at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take one of them and fill it with some rice. Really whatever your preference is on how big you want your gnome to be. I'm gonna take some twine. You could also take a rubber band and I'm gonna tie that rice off at the top. I did probably about four good knots. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess sock from the top. You just wanna make sure that that is not gonna come undone. Now I'm gonna take this faux fur that I got off of Amazon again. Everything that I get off of Amazon will always be linked in the description box below. I'm going to measure out how big I want that fur to be and then I'm going to cut it using an X-Acto knife. I have yet to find a super small little pair of scissors <laughs> to be able to cut this a lot easier. So really however you want to cut this out just make sure you're cutting the back and you're not cutting the fur. Now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to hot glue that to the front of my little gnome, making sure that the top and the bottom of that fur is secure to my little gnome's body. Now I'm going to take that other half of the sock that we cut off earlier. I'm going to flip it upside down so that red trim is the brim of his little hat. I'm going to pull it down over his beard so you can't see the rough edge of his beard. I'm going to take some more twine. I stuffed the sock with some excess sock <laughs> that we had cut off earlier. You can also use polyfill, but I didn't have any more of that lying around, so I just used the excess sock that I had. I'm going to take some twine, and I'm going to wrap that around the top of his hat a couple of times, and then I'm going to tie a knot in the front. Now, I'm going to take this button that I also got from the Dollar Tree. You can find packs of buttons there, and I just found one that matched as close to the red from his hat as I could, and I am just going to string my twine through the holes of the button and then tie a knot to the back, securing that button in place. I'm going to cut off the excess sock from the top, just however long I want that top to be. I'm going to add one of those wooden beads for his nose, just parting the hair and then tucking the nose underneath the top of his hat. And that is it for this super cute Valentine's gnome. For this next project, I got one of these wooden heart plaques from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going to paint my entire plaque in this color. I'm gonna take some of my Waverly chalk paint in steel and I'm gonna create some faux shiplap lines with it. I just used a popsicle stick to measure everything out and to get me those nice straight lines. Now I'm gonna take some more of that steel chalk paint and I'm gonna go around all of the edges of my heart, even down towards the bottom where there's a little beveled edge. I'm going to do this to give it some more distressing and to make those sides a little bit more detailed and give it a little bit more dimension. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take some sandpaper and just rough everything up a little bit. I'm gonna go over all those lines and all those edges, making sure that a little bit of the natural wood from the sign peeks out, giving it a little bit more dimension. Now I'm going to take these rub-on transfers that you could also get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take another one of those little wooden hearts. I am going to cut out the letters M and L for mine and my husband's initials. I'm going to take that little heart and I'm going to paint it in my Waverly chalk paint in lacquer. And then I'm going to take some of this glitter that you can get from Folk Art. I picked this up from Walmart and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just lightly go over the heart just to give it a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to hot glue that to the middle of my plaque and then I'm going to take the letters and I am going to put those where I want them on either side of the heart. I'm going to use the back of a paintbrush to rub those onto my plaque and then I'm going to peel off the clear sheet from the top. Now I'm going to take some twine and I'm going to tie another shoelace bow and I'm just going to pull it down to however big that I want it cut off the excess and then hot glue that to the middle of my red heart. And that is it for this super cute initialed heart. I absolutely love this one. 
For this DIY, you're going to take one of those long wooden signs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I ended up cutting mine down into two pieces. Really, you can just cut it down to whatever size that you want. Just make sure the top piece is about an inch shorter than the bottom piece. I took my Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper and I gave each of these pieces a good two coats using my heat gun in between coats. I'm going to take these transfer letters that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I thought these ones were so pretty because they were foiled in gold. So I thought they were absolutely adorable. I'm going to cut out my letters to say, be my Valentine. So once I get all of those cut out, I'm going to take some painter's tape just to make sure that I can get all of my letters lined straight as possible. Because if I didn't have that, trust me, my letters would be absolutely insane. Even with the painter's tape, I managed to mess it up somehow. <laughs> so just try to get those letters on there as straight as you possibly can. After I've got them all set out where I want them, I'm just going to rub each letter down to get those letters to transfer to my block. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the word Valentine. And I messed up with one of my E's and it was my last E of this kind of transfer. So I used an F on the end and then cut a little piece off from another letter and stuck it on the bottom. So the last E looks a little funny, <laughs> but in the end, I thought it turned out really cute. Now I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue these together, get them in the center as much as possible. And this is how this little sign turned out. I think it's absolutely adorable and I love the pink with the metallic gold. For this DIY, you're going to take some tumbling tower blocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You need a total of four of those blocks. You're going to hot glue two together in a set of two, so two sets of two. I ended up trying to super glue these together because the hot glue would not glue these two sets together for whatever reason. So I took some super glue and I'm going to put that on the top edge of one of my other sets so that there is a little lip on the end. And then I just used some more super glue on the back to secure those together. So it's going to look like a little bench or really what we're trying to make is one of those little Little scrabble tile holders. Now I got these wo little wooden squares from Amazon. I've heard people say that you can get some actual scrabble tiles from Dollar General. I haven't gone there to check and these are what I have on hand so this is what I'm going to use and I'm just gonna paint them white in my Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to paint my little scrabble tile stand in my Waverly chalk paint in lacquer. Once my little tiles are all dry, I'm going to take some more of these transfer stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut out the letters to spell out love. Now I did have to trim some of the letters down just a little bit to get them to fit onto my tiles, but once they were all cut down, you honestly couldn't even tell that I had cut them to begin with. Once I've got all of those on there, I'm going to place them on my little stand and try to rearrange them the way that I want them. I started with the two ends first, so L and E, and then I did my other two pieces after that just to try to get them spaced out evenly. And that is how my little Scrabble sign turned out. For this DIY, I am going to make a little wreath. So I got this little wreath form from Hobby Lobby in a pack of eight, I believe. And I got these florals from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to start by taking these red flowers and trimming off all of the flowers off of their stems. Once I've got them all cut off of there, I'm going to begin sticking my flowers into the wreath. Now, I prefer grapevine wreaths like this just because I can stick those stems down in there without using a ton of hot glue. That's just my personal preference. If you want to hot glue them down, that's totally up to you. I just feel like they're a little bit more sturdy this way. And then if I wanted to reuse the wreath, I could without having a huge hot glue mess. Or if I wanted to reuse those flowers, I could do that as well. So I just stick them down in there and then any of the flowers that are sticking up in a weird way that I don't like, I take some floral wire and stick those in there and wrap it around so that I can get the flowers to stick down the way that I want them to. So I'm just going to do that with all of these flowers. I'm just going to start sticking them all in, all going the same direction on my wreath. Now for the last couple flowers, I wanted to be able to add them to places where I thought were looking a little bit sparse. And for these other little florals that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I believe they're called Blooming Blossoms, I think, or Blooming Flowers, something like that. I just took them off of their little stems and I'm 
I am going to hot glue those down just because there really is no way to wire those down. So I just started adding the remaining flowers to any kind of bare spots that I thought needed covered and then added those little white blooms to my wreath as well. And that is going to be it for this super adorable mini wreath. I'm loving the red and the cream together. For this DIY, you're going to need one pack of felt stickers from the Dollar Tree. These are just heart stickers and you do not need any hot glue for these because the back of these stickers are super, super sticky. They were sticking all over my fingers. So I just went ahead and sorted them out to the sizes that I would need them and the colors. I'm going to take one of these paper cones that I got from Hobby Lobby. You could use just a piece of poster board and roll it up and cut the bottom even. I'm going to take a styrofoam ball and I'm going to hot glue that down into the bottom of my little cone. I'm going to use my scissors to create a little hole for my styrofoam. I'm going to take a wooden dowel, cut it down with my miter shears, add some hot glue to that hole in the bottom of my styrofoam ball and add that dowel to my styrofoam ball. Now I'm going to take these felt hearts and I'm going to start putting them onto my cone. You are going to want to assemble these upside down so that the heart is facing upside down towards the bottom of your cone and the points of the heart are facing the top of your cone. Now I just went through and overlapped these just enough so that you wouldn't see the brown from the paper cone and I left enough excess on the bottom that it also covered up the bottom of that cone. I just started with one row of red and then I'm just going to do a little pattern of red, white, red, white, red, white. I did do about four rows of the biggest heart and then two rows of the smaller hearts. Once you get to your second row, again, you're just gonna overlap it enough so that you're not gonna see the brown from the paper cone. And you're just gonna repeat these steps all the way to the top of your cone. You can decide what size that you wanna use based off of how big your cone is. Just as soon as it started getting pretty small where those big hearts weren't gonna fit as well is when I switched to the smaller sized hearts. Now, once I've gotten all of my hearts on there, I'm going to take one of these glittery hearts that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to hot glue that to the top of my tree. Now, you don't have to do this. You could leave it as is, which I also think is super cute, or you could use a different kind of heart that you have. I'm going to take one of these little white pails that you can get from the Dollar Tree in the wedding section. I'm going to take another styrofoam ball, and I'm going to hot glue that to the bottom of the inside of my little pail. I'm gonna take some of this tool that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut a little piece of this off and I'm just gonna use this to kind of stuff inside and around my pail so that you're not seeing that styrofoam ball in there. And then I'm gonna add some hot glue to my little styrofoam ball in there and then I'm gonna add my tree to the pail. I'm going to take some ribbon that I got from Michaels and I'm going to tie this around my pail. I'm going to hot glue it in place so that it doesn't move around because the ribbon on this pail gets just super slippy and slidey and does not stay in place. So I hot glue that together and then I'm just going to make a simple shoelace bow, cut off the excess of the tails as needed, and then I'm going to hot glue this little button that I got from the Dollar Tree to the middle of my bow and that is it for my felt sticker heart tree. For this DIY, you're going to get one of these heart containers from the Dollar Tree, and this one is super easy. You're just going to take some twine, you're going to tie it to the top of that heart. There's a couple different ways that you could adhere the twine to the heart. You could take this little double-sided tape that you can get from the Dollar Tree, or you could use hot glue. In the end, I decided to use hot glue because this tape just wasn't doing the trick to keep that twine totally in place and for something like this where the twine is going to slip and slide quite a bit I feel like hot glue is probably your best option so I would just add hot glue I would wrap my twine around it and you're just going to wrap your twine around the heart any which way that you want I wanted mine to look really messy and I was happy with being able to see some of that red peeking through so it had that red and rustic twine look to it. So that's all you're going to do. You're just going to wrap your twine all the way around your heart till you get it to how you want it. You're going to tie the excess twine in the back, tie a double knot, cut that off, and that is it for this super cute twine heart.
Now for this DIY, you're going to take a little container. I got this one in a pack from Joann's, but you can get little containers like this from the Dollar Tree. They are just a little bit taller, which is completely fine. You're just going to remove the lid, and I grabbed these conversation hearts to add into my container. You can use whatever candy that you prefer. I thought that some pink and white M&Ms would look really cute in there, and this would also double as a really cute Valentine's Day gift. So I'm just going to fill that full. I'm going to add my lid back on, and I'm going to take some twine, add a little hot glue to the underneath of that lip on there to keep my twine in place, and I'm going to wrap my twine around the jar just a couple of times, and then double knotting it into place. Now I'm going to take these stamps that I got from the Dollar Tree. I thought they were so cute. They had so many fun little pictures on there. So I grabbed this red truck one and I grabbed one of my little sticker hearts. Now I tried doing this a couple times. The first time did not end well because I left it on there way too long. All you need to do is just press down once and softly and it comes out a lot better although it does still bleed a little bit so one thing that you could do is add some Mod Podge on top of the heart and then stamp afterwards. I'm going to take some hot glue, add it to the back of my heart, hot glue it to the front of my container, and that is it for this super cute candy heart jar. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes we were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy and that's it for my valentine's diy thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you all had an amazing new year and here is to 2021 being a much better year than 2020. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite DIY was in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye! Chocolate.